So, you've been approved to become a reviewer in the Oracle Learning Library Community Repository. Fantastic! From the Oracle Learning Library homepage, click on Collaborate. And then what you'll see at the bottom of the page are your action items. This is probably the first place to go. So click on the Action Items button. And then you'll see two major tabs. One is Content that Needs Approval and Finalize Content. So as a reviewer, you're going to take content that has been submitted but has not yet been approved for viewing and usage. And you're going to work on that content until you think it's really fantastic. You might ask a question of the author. And then hopefully, finally, you will approve it. Let's take a look at the steps involved. Now I'm going to drill down into this copy table with or without data using create table as command. So this is a piece of content that was previously submitted but has not yet been approved. And now we're going to walk through these different fields and make sure that you know how to do everything that's necessary with them. First of all, since it's a link, you've got a URL, the link to that item. The most important thing, of course, is to make sure that the link is valid. <coughs> the way to do that is to click on the Validate URL button. So I click on it, and yes, it came up with the article by Manish on this topic. So fantastic, it's there. I'm going to move that off to the side a little bit. Now the next step is to actually review and work with the content itself. So the next item on the page is the topic. One of the key things about the community repository is that we don't just say this is a, an article or this is a video about SQL, but it's about a very specific topic within SQL. So part of your challenge is to go through that knowledge tree and find the best match. So I click on the little up arrow. And here's my tree, and you can see we've got all sorts of different kinds of content out here. It's starting at the SQL area, and what I'm going to do is simply start with, well, a create table as. It'd be great if that was there. Oh, it's not there. Darn. Okay. Well, this is SQL of DDL, as I can tell by taking a look at it, for creating a table. So how about create table? Still nothing. Let's drill down into the SQL tree. So SQL, data definition language statements, table DDL. Let's open up that one. So we've got a high-level table DDL item in the topics tree. I'm going to pick that one, select it. That's the closest match. So get the closest you can, or you can leave it at the top level like SQL, and somebody else can take a look at finalizing it. But don't approve it if you don't feel like it's, it's got a decent topic. Then check the title, make sure it's the same as the article. Yes, it is. And then you can set a source if it's not selected, but it's not important to do that. You will also want to make sure that the content type is correct, and there are lots of different types of content. This is an article, so that's what it's set to. Then we have the description. Now, the description is really important as a general summary of what this piece of content is about, and that's what somebody will see and then decide if they want to drill in further. So here's some content that somebody put in here to get things started, and you should go over it and review it and make sure that it's accurate. So for example, I really like to be correct with the English language, so I'm going to lowercase that how and the be and the by. We got the create table as command. So this is pretty good. So as a basic description, that's fine. We can leave that as is. Now the next step is figure out how much time you think somebody would take to read this. Obviously, it depends on whether English is their first language, whether or not they're an expert in the topic, but essentially read through it yourself and decide pretty much how long you'd expect somebody to, read, to take to read that. OK, well, I'm going to say probably 10 minutes is a good amount of time for that. Difficulty level, again, review the content, decide for yourself, but this is basic to me. And then select the minimum version. Now, in some cases, it might not be that relevant. For example, Create Table As has been around inside Oracle Database for as long as, well, anybody can imagine at this point. So you could just leave it blank, or you could say, well, it was first introduced, or in some cases, it will be first introduced in a given version of the database. And you'll usually have to check the content itself or know more about the database to figure that out, but hopefully you can do it. I'm just going to put it down as 8i. If there's a maximum version, in other words, this is a feature that worked until, let's say, 12.1, and now there's a better version of it or it's been deprecated, usually the maximum version is left uh, blank. And then finally, if it's not English, you might change it to something else if we support that language. Once you feel really good about it, you can either simply save and it goes back in the queue. And notice, in addition to saving, we're also going to add a comment. So we want to make sure that the author can see the changes you've made and other reviewers as well. Cleaned up description. Set the topic as closely as I could. I submit my comment. And now it's going to save my changes. And you can see it's still here because it's not yet approved. If I go back in, 
all my changes are there and that's great. So what I could do at this point is click approve there or right inside, right at this top level report, I can say, this is good. I'm ready to go approve it. And then it will disappear from my list and I can keep moving down through my list. So the key thing is to take your time, take a close look at the content, make sure that it's accurate, make sure that it presents well, and then go through the edits, make the changes and approve. And by doing this, you'll be ensuring that when people come along later to learn about these different areas of Oracle technology, they'll be getting the best representation of that information. They'll be able to find it as quickly as possible. So that's content needing approval. Now, in addition, we have a separate report called finalized content. And this is designed more for very specific pieces of information. So in general, what we're doing here is finding all the different content items that do not have difficulty level, minimum version, or duration, how long it takes to, to watch it or read it in place. So this allows you to very quickly go through in a single form and say, well, let's see this one there, write tiny chunks of reusable code. So I click on the link, it pops open the video, and I could of course watch it, and I will watch it if I haven't seen it before and I'm editing it, but I can just check and see that it's 17, almost 18 minutes. So back I go to my action items. It's 18 minutes long. Where is it? Write tiny chunks of code. 18 minutes long. Minimum version. Well, I would have to watch the video to make sure, but since I did this video, I know that there's nothing in terms of recent versions that we need to be worried about. So I'm gonna set it down to Oracle 9i release 2, which is a long time ago. Difficulty level is intermediate. And then I can say, apply my changes and write tiny chunks of code is now off of this list. So you can either drill into each one in detail, but if you'd like to just stay at a high level and go through a lot of these different items that may be up for finalization, even if they're approved, if they're missing this information, they'll show up here, then this allows you to very quickly do that. So you've got two different reports that you can drive off of the domains that your reviewer for, will serve up the content that needs attention. You drill into the report, you pick the items, and then do the editing as needed. Now suppose you were editing an item, let's drill down into bracket expression and Oracle regular expressions. This is actually an Ask Tom thread. And let's suppose that you needed to get some information from the person who submitted this item. You've got a question about it. You can scroll down a bit and you'll find, whoops, you'll find at the bottom an area for comments. So there are no comments yet here, but you can say add a comment and then I can type a message. I'd like to get a better idea of why you submitted this content item since it is not very well written. Submit. And now the person who submitted this content can read this message and respond to it. Now I'll add another comment. Please ignore prior comment. Just using it for a video. There. So even if you're not going to make any changes to this, uh, this link, but you have a question or a comment, you can add that into the, into the repository and others will pick it up and respond. So I hope that gives you a nice clear sense of how you can contribute with a relatively small amount of your time in terms of helping us build a very high quality repository that everyone in the world can benefit from when it comes to learning about Oracle technology. Thanks and happy reviewing.